Hi guys, welcome to my model of Boeing jet file channel. This channel is dedicated to the construction of a model of Boeing jet file. The scale is a half inch to the foot and it's part one whole construction. This is a fiberglass molding of the Boeing jet file at a half inch to the foot and it's in fiberglass. You have the bow and stern tunnels. This tunnel here houses the bow file and also the retract system, the bow file carriage and the pivots. It also holds the down locks for the file system. This is the stern tunnel. This tunnel houses the center strut intake, the ground plane, uh, the rear down locks and also the inlets for the twin water jets situated port and starboard in these positions. They would be here. On the inside you have lots of space at 45 inches, this makes the beam 14 inches. The bow thruster would be here and that's 25 millimeters in diameter. When you move back to this area here on the full size craft you have uh, an area which is for the fuel. But on the model it carries the battery packs, uh, the control systems, the um, BSCs. Here you have an area for two water jets. Port and starboard again. And the water jets are about six inches long, so they're slightly longer, and they fit into these spaces on either side. On the back of the craft, just behind the water jet outlets, this area here houses two uh, water jet reversing buckets and water jet deflectors. They are not like the Hamilton water jet or the Castoldi water jet reversing buckets. They're completely different. Although they work in tandem, they can also work individually. As is why it is so easy to see jet fire being controlled in so confined spaces. Now, when Boeing Marine Systems designed the hull, they designed it hydrodynamically to allow the hull to separate itself from the water, to unwet itself from the water in face as it approached the takeoff speed, which is about 26 knots. The hull in this area was designed just for that, so it was easy to separate from the water to attain, attain its, uh, its takeoff speed and begin to fly, as set by the high control system by the skipper. Sometimes when the captain is flying the craft, they sometimes have to use the high control levers manually, especially in rough seas, um, where he would have to move the levers up and down, engaging the sea in front of him as to how high the weight is, the, way the waves are, so that he can work out what height he needs to be at to go to the wave. Jet file has a high control system which nobody up to now has been able to get it together. I now have a high control system for jet file. It's a mini computer. It's a, a microprocessor. And it controls the height of the model. The full size craft has a high control system called an ACS or automatic height control or automatic control system 
and it measures the height of the bow of the craft above the water. You could say that the, the tire of a car is analogous to the height control system of the Boeing jet file in that if the car doesn't have a tire you've got a very very rough ride. If jet file hasn't got a high control system uh, it would be very very difficult to control and in some cases it may well have to come onto what's called auto land. If the height control system fails jet file will come into auto land and she will land uh, on the surface of the water. As it is with the model, now there, there are some models out there and they are flying and needless to say a, a lot of work has gone into them. But it's sad to see that all they can use is the gyros. Gyro systems alone are not going to help jet fire to fly. They give a degree of control but they do not give high control. You need an ACS to control the file to make it fly at the right height. You've also got to be able to make sure that all the parts work together to give it that high control system. At the end of this video you will see a link to this equipment I have on offer for a model. And this includes drawings, photographs, whole lines, if you would like to build your own model jet file. It's all packaged in a USB stick, saves on postage, and all you need to do is to print it off as and when you need to build your model. And when I say drawings, I mean we're talking about 12 to 14 drawings, 40 or 50 photographs, um, and other uh, drawings of various aspects of the internal workings of the jet file. Um, the height control system will also be going up there uh, on eBay. There will also be a link for that. So all you need to do is find out how you're going to do this. And then if you want, give us a shout. But look, until then, um, the next uh, video, which is part two, will be cutting out the holes, getting the hole ready to receive various bits of equipment. So, until then, see you next time. See you guys.